So I want to introduce a super cool idea that's used by Unison Cloud to greatly reduce service call overhead. It's something we call adaptive service graph compression. I'll explain what the heck that means in a minute. But first, let's look at how service calls typically work. So traditionally, when you make a service call, you are crossing a network boundary. So you have the caller and the callee running in two different containers, say, and the caller is going to need to take the argument. It's going to need to encode that, send that over the network. The callee is going to need to decode that argument, run the service logic, get the result, encode the result, send that back over the network. And finally, the caller is going to decode the result and have its answer. Phew! And that is all very inefficient and adds a lot of latency compared to, say, a local function call where you don't have to do any of this stuff. So one way to think about the inefficiency here is it's really caused by the fact that code is immobile. So the code of a service is running in some containers, and if you want to interact with that code, you need to bring the data to the code. But in Unison, we get to do something different. Code in Unison is mobile. It can be deployed on the fly to different locations in an instant without any possibility of dependency conflicts. And so in Unison, we can move the code to the data. We can move the code of a service to the locations where it is being called. Okay, so here's kind of how that works. Uh, so when you make a service call with Unison Cloud, we check. Is the code of that service already cached at the current location? If yes, great. We make what is essentially a local function call with no latency or you know, networking overhead or encoding and decoding happening. And that's great. If no, the code is not already cached, no problem. We load the code of that service and cache it for next time. So the way that you can kind of think about this is that the service graph is no longer static. So, you know, you still have different services that are being deployed by different teams and that can be done concurrently. And so it's sort of the benefits of a traditional microservice architecture. But when we are making calls between services, we are, it's like the system is going to dynamically co-locate services that are talking to each other. So service A and service B are talking to each other. So it's like these two points on the circle are being squeezed together to be now in the same location. And in so doing, the system is kind of over time, uh, you know, reconfiguring itself adaptively to sort of minimize overall latency and service call overhead. And so hence the term adaptive service graph compression. Okay. This is a very cool idea, I think. I, I mean, certainly it can have an uh, impact at organizations that have lots of different services that are deployed and probably some percentage of their compute is being spent just on service call overhead. And this is, approach, this is an approach that can greatly reduce that. But uh, this idea of being able to move code to the data is also just a generally useful thing in all kinds of distributed systems. It's not just about reducing service call overhead. Um, pretty much any distributed system that you would want to build, having this ability to move code to the data dynamically is something that can provide wins in many domains. And this is something that Unison and Unison Cloud supports really well. So if this sounds interesting, there is a link in the description to a longer talk that dives into this and uh, you can learn more about it. So check it out.